Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Austin Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Ritu and Ife Olu Waoshoke. What's up, man? Good afternoon. Yeah. How are you doing? Um, our first story, Adekule Gold rejects being compared to Al Kelly because of his hairdo. A follower commented via Twitter on his new hairdo saying, and I quote, Our own Al Kelly, you shall look like him. Maybe because of your hairdo, sha? And Adekule Gold responds with, God forbid. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I think um, the whole of um, Al Kelly's legacy has flown out of the window <laughs> like it's it's now a sorry case mm. right i mean Nobody of course if serious. if this whole child molestation child pornography and all the old accusations about him was not in play i think everybody would Is be so happy to say in the music industry. yeah you, but now man it's a god forbid matter <laughs> yeah like you said Akel is no longer somebody you want to be compared to in any way mm -hmm. because because, like you said, because of the old accusation and mm -hmm. the old story surrounding him. Mm -hmm. And I like Adekunle Gold. You know Adekunle Gold can be now. He's always online to reply every tweet uh, or anything that is popping on on air. Mm -hmm. And I like the way he just said that God fucked <laughs> <Yeah, it's true. laughs> him. They don't even look alike because I looked at the picture and I'm trying to see the resemblance. Like, there's, there's no one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Like you uh, rightly said, how Kelly's legacy is um, over. I know. Yeah. I don't think anybody wants to be associated with that brand or that name anymore mm -hmm. as it stands. Mm -hmm. I don't even think when the case is over, which, like I said, like on the show, that there's no way he's not guilty at, mm -hmm. of at least one of those charges. So um, if Adekunle Go doesn't want to be associated, there are a lot of Americans that have associated themselves mm -hmm. with Al Kelly already, mm -hmm. not to not talk of a Nigerian. And then, like Ewa also said, looking at that picture, I didn't see the resemblance to that. <laughs> um, what's it called? You follow her. You follow her. Uh, yeah, follow her. He needs to check himself and his <laughs> eyesight. Get some hair glasses, right? All right, let's go for another quick break. When we come back, we'll definitely have more stories to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, woo! Welcome back. Wendy Williams must pay her ex, um, Kevin Hunter, to find a new home. Wendy and her estranged husband have come to an interim financial agreement as part of their divorce proceedings. According to court documents exclusively obtained by Page Six, um, she must pay Hunter $250,000 so that he can secure new living arrangements. He needs to vacate their marital home in New Jersey. I remember we talked about it on this show when Wendy put up the house um, for sale um, over the summer. So um, she was also the one who filed for divorce from Hunter in April after he welcomed a baby girl with mistress Sharina Hudson. So, um, well, I guess this is off the back of the fact that she's the one who really mm. wants to sell the house, right? So. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars is, is, is big, but, and I, I, I see that he's currently staying in a place where he's paying fifteen thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, if I. I just think there are a lot of shameless men out there. <laughs> if um, you're still waiting for a woman to take care of your needs after because of your infidelity and your mm. bad attitude and bad energy and your bad influence on their life, um, you still think. You still have the sense of entitlement. Now, I've been saying this from Whitney Houston's um, ex-husband, who is also getting spousal support. Um, yeah, working man, 
it's not like you're disabled. It's not like you can't get things done yourself. So even if she's offering to pay that money, I think it's something that as a man with pride, which is something we have in this part of the world, like they always say that he cannot disassociate um, ego, pride from Africans. We just have it. I won't take that from a woman, especially a woman who is leaving me. If I feel like, look, um, I don't deserve you to win your love back or you don't deserve me for me to try to win your love back, then let's go our separate ways without you helping me financially. That's the way I see it. But if you want 250k and she can't afford it, she will easily give it to you. And she I can't even afford yeah. it. Uh, yeah, yeah. And if it comes back, you would still be the one to start saying that, oh, she's wrote this. By the time she writes a uh, biopic now, mm. or she releases a movie and she's talking about how she took care, you'll still be the one going to court to say, no, 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 she never took care of me, she never did this, she never did that. But you don't take 250K for, I don't know. And that's even just for a start, just for him to get an apartment. And By then, then you come up with other things and mm. then say, oh, you need to pay for this as well. You need to pay for this as well. You need to pay for this. Uh, I, I'm just so sad that their child is up to 18 years of age because I wish he had to pay child support. <laughs> well, I, I okay. think over there is not the richer um, part. The richer but they were both on the, the show, is. right? He was a producer was of, the of the show and she was the face yeah. of the yeah. show. Well, of course, the well, she will, she will get more. But he was not handicapped. It was not. It was not like she brought him into but I mean, the business. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. But you know, law is law. Mm. Do you get? I'm sure that she knows that this will happen. She probably knows the kind of man she's married. If it's spousal mm. support, is different though. This but this is just an argument between both of them, though. Mm. I know. That's what I'm saying. She probably knows the kind of man she's married to. Do you get? That's why she's not even bothered, and then mm -hmm. she just wants to do mm. it. If I have the money, I'll just do it. Like you said. It's you that don't have shame. Do you mm. understand? It's a plus one for her. Everybody will feel like, oh, yeah, she's a woman, a strong woman. So like is, is he going to live in that house with Shotson? Apparently. <laughs> Moving on to the next story, it's on um, Kylie Jenner, who speaks out on the breakup with um, Travis. Um, she's designed the dating rumors with Tiger and mm. all that. So if, um, I say if, uh, Ewa, I know you've been dying to speak <laughs> on this one. So please go ahead. No, I'm just, I like, um, Travis Scott and Kylie together, mm -hmm. and I, I just left and woke up and I saw the news everywhere. They broken up. How? Ah, what happened? It was like last month we were, we were talking about their lovey dovey and all their romantic honeymoons and mm -hmm. all that they've been through, and they just came back and they want to break up. I don't know why that is, but you know, people have been saying probably um, Travis Scott just had a contract with um, Kylie and is over because mm. now they are bringing his ex girlfriend into the picture. They brought up so many, you know, online investigators now. There was a time um, she posted a picture in her room and there was Travis Scott's footwear showing and they brought out the picture of Travis Scott wearing that same footwear. That's the ex girlfriend. The ex girlfriend. Okay. Recently, mm -hmm. then there's so many locations that he has posted picture that is at this particular location and on the girl's Instagram page to the same location, like same day and all of that. So people are thinking and that- the relationship was a business deal. Yeah, it was a business deal. But I, I've never seen them as having this fake love. Mm -hmm. That's Kylie and Travis Scott. I feel, I feel like whatever they had or whatever they share was real. And like they said, what, like we, what we know now is that the breakup is not permanent. It's just temporary. We don't know if they will get back together or this is the end. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> I'm going to her ex-boyfriend's music studio. I feel that was like pretty mature. Well, she, she explained that. that. She said she went to drop off um, some friends and then um, he happened to be in the studio at that time. So it wasn't like he went, she went there for him. I feel like she did it for attention because she knows that she knows paparazzi will follow her everywhere. Mm -hmm. Probably um, Travis Scott is dropping a single this Friday, mm -hmm. and of course, conditions they always need ratings. What if for all this show? breakup thing is a lie? Yeah, that's the thing together. They probably and need all ratings, this is just, yeah, you know, if for clout. Um, well, I would rather go with the clout than say it is a it is an agreement because what type of um, agreement leads to a child? Hmm. So yeah, if we're having a business agreement that oh, I need you to promote my brand, so let's start a relationship. We've seen people that do that, and then. I don't think it will result in a child unless you actually feel what some... What if a child is part of the oh, agreement? What if what, that's what Kylie wants? Exactly. I, mean, I, want a, I want a child, but I don't really want a husband. So mm. you can do that for me, right? I want a man, child from Kylie, a black man. I'm very, very, very potent, though. <laughs> If it's children you want, please let's sign an agreement. Mm. And um, 
back to the story. Um, Kylie, Travis, I love the both of them, mm -hmm. but um, I don't know how to put this that it won't come off the wrong way. But I always thought she deserved better than Travis, so I'm kind of one of those people that are happy, that happy about this breakup. Maybe mm -hmm. because I think she deserves them. <laughs> that okay. that I, I like that you said maybe because she think she deserves you. But I don't know, I've never seen that she deserves more. I don't know, I've never thought about that. Because I don't know why I just love the both of them together. Mm. That's why I'm like really disappointed. And that. that's why I gave you the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and Tiger has also come out to deny the rumor that mm -hmm. he's getting back with Kylie. Kylie. And he said the media is just talking, talking, talking. Mm -hmm. None of it is true. And then the first thing he said was, he posted something on his Instagram, the blue cap, like they're just capping, they're just talking. And then the media came again and said, oh, um, he's replying to Kylie's tweets, denying the rumor that she's just talking. And then he now came back, re-edited that post and said, media, with the blue cap. <laughs> so you, make it clear. you know, and it's just a story that's been trending and I just... So for you, you hope that they come back together yeah, for you if he's happy, I mean. For me, man. They're just too different. <laughs> Moving on to the next story. So Abraham has appealed to her fans to stop attacking her colleagues. This is coming weeks after a fellow actress, Lizzie and Jory, accuses her of sending her fans to attack her. Please um, take a look at this video. I want to say a big thank you to all Twin Titans for your love and support over the years. I doubt if we have any fans as passionate and supportive as you guys. The way you stood by me and fought for me is so unreal. I feel loved. But please, guys, I want to kindly plead with you guys. Once any of my colleagues or anybody does not celebrate me, please stop trolling them. Nobody deserves negativity and nobody deserves to die. Let them live so they can witness the goodness of God in my life, in our lives. Tony Titans, we are not mis friends, we are not taught, we are educated. Thank you guys for always, always loving me. And guess what guys, something big is coming. And lastly, I want to say a big thank you to my godparents, Mr. and Mrs. Fakuride. Thank you, mommy, for always holding my hands. And a big thank you to CSP, Okweto Dolapo. Thank you. Okay, just one question. Why is she doing this now? Maybe I know you are the defender of Tony Abraham. <laughs> no, no, so no, 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 Why she decides to finally come out to caution her titans. Probably the elders mm. in the spoken industry have spoken to her. Mm. Elder Latin. To, yeah, you know, and it's good to respect. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm happy she did this at least. Mm. She's, she's not our fans, they really love her. So let's hope they follow our words and stop trolling people online. I mean, if you like somebody, you don't have to bring another person, person down. down. And not everybody will congratulate you when you um you've done something good or you've achieved something great. So like she said, if any if she has done anything or she gave birth or whatever it is, if nobody's saying congratulations, it probably does not mean that the person hates her or the person's mm -hmm. not happy about it. But you know. Okay, before I come in, I have mm. one more question for you. Jesus Christ. Yes. That so, do you think that Lizzie still looks as crazy as she looked at the time? Yep. Lizzie and Jerry, you still yep, think yep, so? Yep. All right, you're fair. Because, you know why? Mm -hmm. I didn't think um, there was something wrong in Lizzie coming out to express herself. Mm -hmm. It was the way she went about it okay. that I had a problem with. Okay. I really don't want to get involved with this whole Lizzie and Tony Abraham thing because, um, from the start, I always said they are grown women and they would look for a way to sort things out. But as for why she's coming out to do this now, that was the same question I had because um, without people um, speaking to you, the elders, the elder Latin and the rest speaking to you, isn't the, the wise thing to have done from the start as a mature person, as a person which has got into a marriage, as a person which has welcomed the baby into the world. Why do you need so much negativity? And why do you need people to speak to you before you can actually do the right thing? So you knew you could make this video, you knew you could talk to your fans, and then you had to wait this long till it has escalated. And give us I a think video that has a, a very bad audio. Yeah, I think this is medicine after death. Mm -hmm. So, Tony Titans, come for me. <laughs> Okay, except you want to add to that. No, I just feel like when, you know, like, I don't know, I was having a conversation with you, and I was saying sometimes it's not 
about you sometimes people get guilty because of the way they approach mm -hmm. issue mm -hmm. get. i feel like the only reason why she probably didn't make this video at first or she was not calm about it too was Lizzie's the way approach. She, that's what i said i don't have a problem with lizzie coming out to say please because i didn't congratulate somebody stop trolling me is the way she went about it all the things she said i know that i have a problem with mm -hmm. and i think maybe that's why tony was like oh you want to fight bring it on mm. do you understand and then maybe elders have said, no, you don't have to do this. Mm. Go and make that video. Mm -hmm. okay, sometimes they don't even have to beg her or talk to her. It's just like commanding her that do what is right and make that video and tell your fans to stop trolling people. Mm. Okay. So, Tony Abraham, thank you for doing what is right. And that's our <laughs> wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And like I always say, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Aplus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my co-anchors, Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Shonkeye and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching.